No, really, could it now? I, I guess people are that stupid that they won't see any YouTube video. Well, yeah, they, they might not see any YouTube videos. People like to be in their little bubbles. Hello, everyone. I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube Harvey and Captain Marvel. Oh, Lord. Damage control to the max. Yeah, I, I can see how some people might not even have seen any of this news. They're going to try and shut us up really quickly about Rotten Tomatoes shutting down all of the Captain Marvel want to see, uh, basically poll the voting option for, for how many people want to see Captain Marvel. And not a lot of people are going to probably realize that. Because if they go over there to see Rotten Tomatoes and say, oh, only 27% of people want to see this... It might actually be a little off-putting and people will be like, "Oh, that might not be a good thing. <laughs> and of course, don't admit it. Don't admit it. This just means we win. Oh, and of course, they're lying again about the trolling. The flood of trolling on Rotten Tomatoes started about a month ago. No, it didn't. The only fake reviews were positive reviews. Weeks before the release of Captain Marvel, commenters on the website were already claiming the movie was garbage, and they had no intentions of seeing it. No, they didn't say it was garbage. They said we had no intentions of seeing it. Her attitude stinks. Terrible movie. Terrible movie. Hate it already. That is because of the marketing and the advertising. Not interested in seeing another SJW propaganda film claimed another. And finally, this movie is destined to flop. That's the way they've been marketing it. That is the way they've been marketing it. Yes. And it's not helping that Brie Larson's comments can clearly be interpreted as, as at least having kind of a snotty attitude and, and not a very good way of saying what she intends to say about the, I don't want to see what white dudes have to say. Still, that's, that's not a very good attitude. That's really not. And I know it's not talking about, it's, it's talking about like a wrinkle in time movie. I know that's what that's talking about. Another day, another attempt to pillor, pillory a film. I can't say that word long before anyone in the comment threads could have seen the movie in question. That's because they keep commenting on what we've seen. We've seen the trailers. We've seen this story before. Hell, we've written this story before, but now Rotten Tomatoes is trying to do something about it. On Monday, the movie review site announced some changes due to the new way it deals with the audience scores, specifically that it will no longer show the want to see percentage score, the one that gets posted next to all of those reviews above of a movie before it's released. Why? We found that the want to see percentage score is oftentimes confused with the audience score percentage number. That's bullshit and you know it. No, it, it, it clearly has an impact. Like if I see, if I, even me, and I know this and I know what they do. If I see a Rotten Tomatoes score of like, oh, it's like getting a 30% or a 10% uh, fan score or whatever. I'm going to say, oh, people probably didn't like this movie. And I'll, I'll go through and I'll read some and see why people didn't like it. I will take those numbers as like, okay, is this a decent movie or not? Referencing the number compiled after the movie's released and people have theoretically seen it. True to their word, the company now regulates the want to see option to a small button below the Captain Marvel scores, which are blank since the critics review embargo is still in effect with no and no general audience has seen it yet. Guess what? Maybe you shouldn't have been lying and saying that people are review bombing it then because then you get that in people's heads say, thinking that those are review scores. Like we've been saying, those weren't the review scores. That was the poll. That was the want to see percentage. That was just the opinion. That's not the actual score of the movie. And that's your own fault because you keep saying, oh, they, they're, they're review bombing us. They're review bombing us. They're trolling us. These, these 15 trolls that were removed from the Rotten Tomatoes scores. But sequestering want to see it isn't all Rotten Tomatoes is doing to stop the trolls. Ooh, us nasty 15 of us. Like the Huffington Post report, reported. I did a video on that. I'll link that in the description below. 
This site is also turning off the comment function before the movie's release date. Unfortunately, the blog po post noted, we have seen an uptick in non-constructive input, sometimes bordering on trolling, which we believe is a disservice to our general readership. Oh, like the, the all the bot scores that I, I have been showing on screen every time we were looking through the comments, and you would see, oh yes, must see, must want to see, have to see, must see, or whatever, and, and they would have a percentage in the name because that was a bot. They even left like the, the code in the review part. They were so clearly bots. How, how are the bot scores? H how is that any, like, like and here's the thing. You, you get some kind of just trolls like blah, 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 Captain Whammon or something. And then you get the fake bot things and those things kind of counteract each other because you have probably just as many on both sides. They cancel each other out. You stupid. Wired. This is from Wired. The site, as of writing, it doesn't seem to have subscribed to the previous comments about Captain Marvel, but no new ones have gone up since Monday, so it seems the influx of hateration has stopped. <laughs> this, for fans and presumably studios, is long overdue to is a long overdue reprieve. No, you can't silence what we think of movies. Guess what? You're going to silence the Rotten Tomatoes things. And guess what it's going to do? It's going to drive people who are go to Rotten Tomatoes to YouTube. And then they're going to see what we're actually saying. And they're going to watch a 10 or 15 minute video about from me or SC Reviews or Anna. And they're going to see what we actually think of these movies based on the articles that we comb through for you guys. So you're just shooting yourselves in the foot. Oh my god. It's nearly impossible to tell which comments are from actual fans and which are from users just out for lulls. They're pissed off customers who are tired of being name called. That's, that's who they're from. Movies ranging from Baywatch to Star Wars The Last Jedi have recently found themselves subjugated to trollish, harsh reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh no, Star Wars The Last Jedi got every bit of... of comments it does it, it, it got what it deserved <laughs> seriously those were not trolling the last jedi got and deserved it i don't know about baywatch who the hell cares about baywatch who cares about baywatch in some cases the negative comments are earned but in others as of the case of the last jedi and to a lesser degree the all-female ghostbusters movie the poor ratings seem driven by racist and or sexist motives who fans who don't appreciate diversity in their movies suck a dick no no, 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 no. This is exactly the same thing I read in another article. What are they doing? Just copy and pasting these things? Sexist or racist? racist how? How is... How, how is saying, I don't like that the star of the movie was prejudiced against me. Or I feel like she discriminated against me. How, how is that sexist or racist? How, how is somebody like me, if I were to leave a review on there and I would say, Brie Larson doesn't do a good job of selling the movie with charisma and charm. She looks a little bitchy and she comes across as a snotty rich girl. And I don't want to see that in a superhero. How is that a trolling comment? That is my honest opinion. The only thing that looks good in this movie is the cat and Samuel L. Jackson. Of course, he's good in everything. And, and guess what? How, how, can a, how can a racist love Samuel L. Jackson as, as like probably their favorite part of the movie that I haven't even seen yet? And I know he'll be good in it. And, and like we keep saying time and time again, the movie probably wouldn't even be that bad. It's probably going to be like a six out of ten. It might look a little meh. It's probably going to have some ridiculous laugh out loud stupid moments and the cat's going to steal the show. But we know that. Oh, and this movie's not even going to flop, but you, you keep shooting your customers. They're going to be buying Alita Battle Angel tickets instead of this. They're going to boycott this thing. They're going to pirate this thing. And no, I'm not condoning any of that. I'm just saying what they're going to be doing. Because, of course, I don't control what you guys, what, what like the, the, the viewers, I don't control what you guys do. You guys are going to see this movie or not based on everything that we tell you and you see the articles. We show you the entire articles. We show you the video clips. We let you make up your own minds. You're not NPCs. You're not mindless, brainless masses 
like the people that they're writing these articles for. And we know better than this. And we can vote with our dollars. We can do what's right. And, and we can make a statement against these sites. <sighs> they might also have been fueled by Russian trolls. Again, no. I'm so sick of this. It happens that from time to time, a movie gets terrible Rotten Tomato scores from critics and fans claim bias on the part of professional reviewers, as the case with Justice League. Justice League was, that looks stupid. I didn't even see it. Was it a good movie or a bad movie? You guys saw it, if you saw it. So will Rotten Tomatoes' new changes come in time to save Captain Marvel from the trolls? Some of the damage has already been done, but the movie will definitely stop it from getting worse. Or, but the move will definitely stop it from getting worse. But more than that, Rotten Tomatoes move may not be necessary. While it's certain in movie fans best, certainly in movie fans best interest, the jig has been up on the audience review trolling for a while. Oh, the jig has been up on Rotten Tomatoes lying for a while. I've been making videos for months on this, back covering the Shira stuff and Star Wars Resistance, and no, they, they, we've been we've been onto Rotten Tomatoes fake bot scores and bot upvoting for months. So we're on to you, Rotten Tomatoes. And this is why you had to silence us. Seriously. When a movie was made to tank, to tank, to tank Black Panther's scores last year, it was largely shut down. And the movie went on to make more than $1.3 billion at the box office and win three Oscars. I'm not even going to get into Black Panther. Seriously. You guys know what's up with Black Panther. A similar effort is in the works for Star Wars Episode Nine, but has attracted scant attention. See, that's because we were just waiting to see how low it was going to go, and then you guys turned off the want to see rating because you knew it would be in the toilet. Mm -hmm. See, we're on to you. We know what you do. Meanwhile, even as Captain Marvel trolling was happening, no, no one was trolling Captain Marvel. Ticket pre-sales for the movie are outpacing those of Wonder Woman and coming in just behind Black Panther when stacked up against other superhero origin flicks. All right, Wonder Woman, we had no idea. What the DC had, the DCEU had a history of being shit, okay? It had a history of being shit. This last, like, three movies were terrible. We had no idea. We didn't know, we didn't know Gal Gadot was just beautiful, gorgeous, charming, graceful, gracious, humble, amazing. We didn't know she was so good. We didn't know the movie was so good. That's why nobody bought, every, that was a wait and see movie. Black Panther, again, a wait and see movie. This is why, and, and this is why it's doing better because you, you're you out there pushing this agenda of it being the, the biggest pre-selling thing. And, and that doesn't even, that doesn't even tell you how much it sells. Not only that, I've been hearing rumors, and this is just rumors of, of not being able to cancel your pre-orders for this. When you go to into your Fandango account, you aren't allowed to cancel your, your pre-sale tickets, which is ridiculous. Does this mean movie trolling has been solved? No. Efforts to affect films long before their release still exist on IMDb, Twitter, Facebook, and other platforms. But seeing as Rotten Tomatoes is often one of the first destinations moviegoers visit when determining what to see, the site's most recent move will sort out the good opinions from the bad ones. And on the internet, as in the movies, that's really the best way to settle the score. Oh, by silencing people who don't agree with you. Are, are you serious? Are you serious? You cannot silence people. This is the horrible. You're, you're doing this right before the movie's released. Two weeks before the movie is out, you shut us down. You shut us our, you shut our opinions off. And people aren't going to know that. People aren't going to go over to the site and be like, oh, there's no, no one to see anymore. Oh, it's right before Captain Marvel. Oh, what's all this? They're, they're saying people were trolling the thing. Oh, but then we're going over and looking at YouTube because we're not going to watch a video. We're going to watch a, or we're not going to listen to a, or we're not going to read a whole article. We're going to listen to a video about it or watch a video instead because that's how people are. People don't watch or people don't go and read the articles. They'll watch the videos and they'll see what we're saying and they'll see us take your articles, pick them apart and say, actually, this is not true. See, here's the evidence against it. They'll go and see the quarterings videos, you know, and they'll, they'll see, well, here, here's what she actually said and they'll make up their own minds because that's what we're doing. We are giving you guys 
the the information to make up your own minds and we're telling you our opinions as well i'm tired of this tell me what you guys think in the comment section below I, I don't I don't think this is going to save Captain Marvel. This is just another certified shill article. And thank you so much. I'll see you on the next live stream or video. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.